As soon as he came up and he started talking, he just said to Brazil, I was like, yeah, I wondered why you're here. I thought you walked around. Who's the guy here? Who's the guy here? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thanks, my wife. Yeah. Some security. That's good. That's good. That's good. I think they need it. They need it. I am to take a stone. Huh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Scott's out. Scott's out. Oh, uh, you can do it at the same time if you yeah, want. That's right. I'm with the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Yeah. Okay. Uh, first off, uh, obviously uh, officially retired. Is this something that's been, you know, used with the, the new job title, something that came on now, or this uh, this process started over a year ago. Okay. Um, so it's just been a work in progress trying to figure out uh, what I can do, what do they need. Uh, this came available and I was the perfect kind of the implementation. For Are you going to be working directly in Vegas? Is it something you go out of your home in, in Illinois? I'll, I, I will not move to Vegas. So. Okay. And Lawrence is here to help me out with any questions as well. <laughs> okay, well, uh, does this new role involve uh, handing down fines or disciplines to fighters? I, I don't think I'm going to be a policeman, so to speak. I, I kind of see it as being a liaison between the fighters and the UFC. And sometimes I'll go to the UFC after reviewing the subject and I'll say, hey, this guy's got a good point here. And maybe sometime I'll go to the fighters and say, hey, the UFC has your best sisters, uh, uh, you know, interest at heart here. You need to listen to them and maybe do what they're telling you to do. So I see it me be, being more of a liaison than a policeman. I, I don't think I'm going to turn myself a policeman at all. I don't think that. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, how do you feel now that you're officially retired from UFC? What, what's this transition like from you? It, uh, it it's and it is a transition. I don't want to age, so I still work out. I lift weights. I, I roll around. Uh, you know, when the term retirement comes, I think people age themselves, and I don't want to do that. I want to be. I want to be young. My we've got three kids in the house, and my wife always says that she's raising four, and I'm the worst <laughs> one to train. And I want to keep it that way. I'm a, I'm a kid at heart, and I want to stay a kid. At heart. What do you think about the future of your division right now? How's it looking to you? Well, George, George still run the division. So right now, what the division needs is, is you know, guys to step up. You know, Diaz is coming to the table, so it'll be an interesting fight, and we'll see what happens. But um, there needs to be some, some, there needs to be more number one contenders down the road. Right. Well, Hendricks is a very strong wrestler, just like yes. you were. Do you think he's next in the line after Diaz? Uh, could very well be. Mm -hmm. Could very well be. All right, Matt, thank you for the time. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm Scott.